Hello everyone and welcome back. We are picking up with another part of Dungeons and Dragons Online for the Druid playthrough. And today we are going to level up for the first time. I just hit level 5 last time technically that we played. And it took me a little bit but I had to find where the trainer is. I know there's somewhere around here. Where is the, the Druid? There they are. Um, but yeah, I couldn't figure out where they were at for a while. I was over there searching the area down by the uh, city and where we picked up a few quests, but finally I found them. So let's see what we got here. I would like to advance to the next level as a druid. And let us see. So we have three points it looks like, right? Which ones? So there's move, silent, and no, we have four points. Okay. So we can use search. Huh. So that takes 0.5. And then that brings it to zero. When activated, you attempt to find the exact location. Uh, okay. I might bump that up, but I'm not sure. Let's see what else we have here. Kind of forget which ones were like important. It might be the ones with the star next to it. Abilities you you can activate abilities that are always applied. Uh, cross class skill costs twice as much to train. Oh. Okay, never mind. It costs twice as much to train anything with a star so hmm i mean concentration diplomacy that kind of stuff might be okay balance perform use magic device can i increase that i can and wear magic items, which you normally wouldn't be able to because of the class or race restriction. You must perform a check each time you attempt to use a magic item with this skill and may succeed sometimes and other times may fail. Humble search. Okay. Balance. Intimidate. Heal. Spot. Just looking at these. Concentration. What does this give you again? Well, ask you for a chance to continue casting a spell when you normally would be inter interrupting by taking damage. Okay, I actually might bump that up a little bit. And then, I mean, I could do use magic device and put that at three so that way I can use them. I think I'll, I'll try it. We'll, we'll attempt to that. Basic feats. So we get to choose another feat. Defensive, martial arts, or wild shape. Represents your knowledge of the wilderness. Wait, do you like select these? Oh, abilities that are always applied. Well, how do you select one? Oh, you always, I think that's saying abilities you can activate. So now I couldn't unlock one of these all right i'll unlock wolf uh no 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 wolf shape trainable feats okay i see i see i don't know if i'm really gonna go into wolf shape a lot i think i'm gonna do more of the casting abilities and then summon my two wolves but we'll see congratulations you completed training as a level two druid you now earn the following Cool. Finish. 
Level two. Who knew it was going to take like four episodes later? Or no, maybe five. This might be episode five. <laughs> Just to level up. But hey, we made it. We made it this far. So let's uh, let's keep on exploring a little bit here. So next thing is we need to find to help Lars find Amalgam and help him with Hayden's plan. Yeah, here we go. Find them in the Corthos Island village. Or I mean, wilderness, not village. All right, we're going back to the wilderness then. I know we had a few quests that were out there anyway, so it kind of works out. That was sort of to be expected. Still a little bit confused on like the, the leveling system of this game, but I'm just following this main, like every quest that I keep following is taking me to the next area. Um, I don't know when it's going to be required for me to get like new adventure packs or anything. I know back in the end of 2021, they did some sort of deal where you actually got free all of the adventure packs for free. But I don't have any of those. So I guess we'll see if we reach like a point where it's like, hey, you need some adventure packs. I know if you subscribe to the game, which I wouldn't be against, but I'm going to be away for uh, like towards the end of uh, next week at the time of recording this. So I don't really want to subscribe now and then kind of lose out on that when I'm, when I'm away. So I'm going to wait. Try going down here. So we're officially level two. Does that mean we can have a new ability now? Or no? It's C, right? And then spells. Okay, we can. Cool, cool. So now we can prepare an extra spell, but we'll have to wait until we're at a rest area to be able to equip the next one steam billows from the hidden entrance to an underground <laughs> complex of course my cast would fail All right, let's try going inside here. It's really funny that you go a dungeon with inside a dungeon. Another dungeon. The air grows damp and fetid as the ancient tunnel descends. Find the giantish device. I believe this was from the guy that we met upstairs. Uh, not upstairs, but on the edge of the cliff. And he was like, you have to go down there to find it. It's like, maybe I will. We'll summon this wolf. Nice. Nature's ally. I need to keep remembering that to look it up after we're done here today there's some sort of animal back there young ice method the tunnel splits here which way to the giantish device pull the lever let's try going right It closed on me.
I can't, still can't believe that entire last episode. I spent so much time looking for the valves. Meanwhile, they're literally right in front of me. I hated that so much. You hear ratcheting machinery. The sound of distant snoring warns you that you are not alone here. If you're careful, you may be able to take the sleeping guards by surprise. There's some sort of lever here. something okay your hireling yeah the pet is literally considered a hireling your uh it just i just saw it a second ago hey oh maybe it just shows up at the top You can also have your companion use levers. Huh. The last Sahagin guard collapses to the floor. But what are they guarding? Okay, the door's open now. The Sorry, my, my dog was in the bit. room. Looks oh, capable of truly ear-shattering noise. Turn the next valve. With the gong's reverberations, you hear a slight rumble from the larger room, but then it stops. Oh. Second strike of the gong produces the telltale sound of cracking ice. Oh my god. Holy. Well, I hope we're supposed to go to Oh, there's a ladder right here. Wait, was this always there? You can actually use the ladder too. I thought you're gonna have to click on it. That's cool. Now there's a lever down here. Can my pet not follow me down? I mean, that does make sense. Your pet waits at the top of the ladder since it cannot climb down. <laughs> There's a way here. Another one, yep. Wait, this pet made it down. Oh, they did make it down. That's cool. Now that we've gotten both of those. Wait, that's how you get out of here. Oh, 
Oops. Wait, what? Let me try going back up. I don't know where else these these doors are supposed to be used for. For the levers. Maybe there's another room. Like, obviously, right here, we had these two. But I haven't seen another door that had those two logos on them. Unless if it's, like, over there somewhere. Or if it's down below. It dropped down again. Ah. A rusty hatch submerged in the putrid water. Ah. Uh oh. You emerge from the murky water with great relief. The air seems slightly cooler here. Okay. The temperature plunges as you fall ahead. The giantish device must be near. That was actually pretty cool. I like the little, um, hidden things that they have here. Like puzzles. Ice monsters will take more damage from fire weapons. Ah. Purple means that it's taking extra damage from your type of attack. Orange means it's taking normal. And yellow means it's taking less than normal damage. That's kind of funny how they do that because in like every other game out there, it's like if you're doing, if they're orange, they're way higher level than you. But this is probably before a lot of those games. Or if they're purple, they're usually like a, hot, a lot higher level than you. Uh, what is this? Quarter staff. I can use the, no, I can't use them because they have I can, but I get a negative 20% damage. Thieve tools. Experience points. What is this devoted scepter of love? Consider an implement of your hands to do. Base damage, it actually does a little bit higher damage, but this one has higher critical roll. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my scepter then. Go to this. More XP, potion of great. Um, if you guys are watching this, do you recommend that I use, take these XP points? I saw another video where somebody suggested taking them later on. Uh, but if it's like early, it, I don't know how much it matters. I haven't taken any of them yet because like the, half the stuff we have so far, I don't, I don't even know what I should be using or what I shouldn't be, to be honest. So feel free to let me know, though. Feel free to let me know. Mighty Bracers of Dodge. We also got some boots. And I currently don't have any. Okay. I feel like we kind of look cool there. Yeah, we look not too bad. We got a cape. I mean, we're still definitely wearing like some basic armor or druid stuff. But either way. We look all right, I guess. I guess you could say. Oh God, it's a a spider. It is the giant device. The freezing is stealing our direction the wrong way. With the right timing, you can get close enough to the direction. Frozen adventurer.
Oh man, we're getting we're taking health damage. Oh wait, I see. We don't want those to be powered up, do they? Or do we? Maybe we do. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So that will cover that. That covers that one, two. Hmm. This one can't move unless the only thing I can think of, if I move this like that, there's a possibility of this working then. Maybe not. The mist solidifies oh. into ice over the ancient <laughs> creature, but it's not enough. You need both jets to Wait, there's a giant size. thing that wait, I didn't realize. What the hell is that? Wait, I can't even see it. Oh jeez. I know that does that. Is there a way to reroute this? Oh, maybe this will work. Here we go. A layer of ice forms over the ancient creature, guaranteeing its slumber. Kothos is safe for now. Kothos is safe for now. I did not even see that thing back there, but okay. Cool. Complete this adventure. That was pretty cool, I'd say billows from the hidden entrance to an underground complex okay let's run back up to that guy and hand it in oh I just realized so when you recall from a dungeon your health replen replenishes and so does your your mana what is this when you complete a dungeon, the recall button under your quest changes to the finish button. It went finish. That, that, okay. I don't know why that's saying that now when I've been, I've been doing a good amount of quests now. And it seems like as we're in this area, it just says Corthos Island. It's kind of like a 100% option where you can, you can use that to complete the whole area if you need to, or want to. Uh, competence bonus. Concentration, concentration and tumble, will save, and intimidate and haggle. I think I might go concentration in this, this one. Does that not show on my body?
cosmetic headwear. Wait, there's cosmetic items? I don't even know. <laughs> cosmetic headwear, armor, secondary weapon or shield. Can I equip a secondary? No way. Wait, really? This whole time? Wait, am I good? Am I okay with having a secondary? Is that an option that I do have or should have? Bonus minus seven minus four. Okay, I see. So I can dual equip items, but if I do, the bonus that you get goes down. But then it seems like you can still do higher damage, right? Because you lose the bonus, but then you gain everything else. I mean, that is kind of cool, though, I guess. Is there a way to put away your weapons, I wonder? So right now we have, and like, we're always running around with them. It's down here, abandoned. Who is the guy that we needed to find here? Oh, I have a party member now, apparently. To help Lars. Alma Gar Graham. I'm going to try calling this pet. And we'll try going further back there. There's auto targeting. Um, let me check one thing here. That's fine, but I just don't know what grouping. You may double click the party you want to join. Click now. Create or edit. Comment. Advertise looking for new players. Fired. 12 minutes. I'm not eligible for any. <laughs> Level range one to one. Wait, it says outstanding invitation requests, accept decline. Wait, you cannot group with this player at this time. You are currently on a different stage of the Corthos Island experience. Oh. Wait, so are they in? Is this? That was a different player, though, right? How do I change the party chat? That's a real question. Oh, here we go. <laughs> They're 
They're actually here. Can I see what level? They're level one, right? I'm going to take off this weapon. If I can figure out. Oh, there we go. Did they leave? I don't think they did. Oh, there he is. You come across a makeshift camp. A scraggly dwarf sits on a log. That's trying trade. in vain to keep warm. I'm gonna sell a bunch of items. All the items that I definitely can't wield. Same with these, I guess. If I shouldn't be selling these, just let me know, guys, uh, in the chat. Or in the, not in the chat, but in the comment section. Uh, I know there's some items that I still don't really exactly know what to use or how to use them yet. But um, if I should be doing something else with them, like breaking them down, whatever the case is, just let me know. Martial art weapon proficiency. I don't, say if I wanted to use a short bow. Or a bow. There's a robe here. Starter, leather armor, light armor. Okay. Anything else I should grab? There's a bunch of daggers. Nope. Okay. Let's rest. And then after I rest, I think I can also equip a... A new ability here or another skill that is I can prepare skills yes spells I mean uh what is this enchant any melee weapon you wield to additional base damage Cast without a trace. Gives an ally caster a plus 10 enchantment bonus on swim checks. Maul. This one basically heals me. Sure. I'll equip that. Only one bigger spell can be active at a time with the most benefit taking priority. If multiple spells are cast at the same time, then duration is extended. Positive energy conjuration that deals one day two. So it can heal you a little bit, it seems. Can I also add enchantments here? Uh, we have no action points, so we can't even do that yet. All the road south up to the mountain. Master Hayton is waiting. Master Hayton is waiting. <laughs> All right. Well, for now, I need to actually hop off here. Um, so if you guys enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. I will do my best to record the next few episodes uh, very soon. Most likely not today, but hopefully like tomorrow or so. But for now, that's it. Thank you as always. See you guys in the next one. Peace.